So I received a text from my father that just reads, just dated walk on still bomb hours and it was great food. I don't, can anyone? So, I didn't shave, I haven't shaved in a week. You get a topless shot of me and some shit in business. Using the phone. I'm at the gym. I gotta use my phone as the, uh, as a mirror. You ever notice how during the sunlight you kind of get this uh, early golden hour and, and times like that you get like this really pretty, uh, like the greens get this little bump of saturation and look a little bit better? It used to be, back when I shot a lot of film and video, we would use an 85 filter which has an orange tint to it, kind of like CTO, so it's in the same principles as um, lighting that way. But we would take this 85 and we would put it in front of uh, tungsten balanced film and you would get, uh, you know, it would correct for the film. So you would put an 85. Okay, so the 85, right? This was the, and what I have on this lens is a poor man's 85. So I've just taped a piece of uh, CTO. So it's not a perfect 85. The real 85 is glass. And if you don't know where it came from, quick history. Uh, so back in the day, we didn't have these fancy uh, abilities to select white balance. We had to choose our film stock to either be tungsten or daylight. And often, either you ran out of money, which was the case of me in my short films, and so we had to use tungsten stock uh, for daylight. And so, you know, just the way it was. And sometimes, like, you just really wanted a fast stock. You wanted the grain, so you would use a tungsten stock that was a little bit faster. Uh, for whatever reason, you like the grain pattern out of it, and you would use that stock, and then you would put an 85 in front of it, a glass 85, not a piece of gel. You'd put a proper 85 in front, and it would help balance it out. And the reason you do that is because what it does is the 85 converts, all right, the light coming in. Whoops, popped a little tape right off. So if you take tungsten film and you put an 85 in front of it, you get daylight. Anyway, the point is the 85 is kind of fun because you, like after a while, once digital video came out, you could change the color temperature, but you could, you could then use the 85 as like an effects filter. So you'd slide this piece of glass in the front and one thing that I always found really fascinating was at just maybe like 10 minutes of sunrise based on where I live, about 10 minutes of sunrise, 10 minutes of sunset, if you're directly in that sunlight, you get that 85 effect that where the green is just really punchy. It's just, it's warmed up and it's just glowing. It's a really beautiful shade of green. Very, just got this sort of glow to it. However, the other time that this can happen, which it's not gonna happen today, thankfully, it's beautiful, but is when the sun is setting just low enough and you get cloud cover that's just thick enough that creates a giant bounce and then you get it cast over everything and that's like, that's like a natural 85. Suddenly the entire world, and it's really rare, but it's just something I observed, but, and for me, it's one of the most beautiful things in the world when you see like everything has that saturation bump. Everybody looks more beautiful. Yes, it's golden hour, sure, but it's golden hour with a bounce on the top of it that's covering everything. So it's not just a limited frame. It's really gorgeous. I'll try and capture it if I, if I see it again. I haven't seen it in a while, but it is just something really magical that I absolutely love. Now this isn't a perfect example, but it's kind of fun and I thought I'd show you. So I have this tape to the front here, but if we pull to reveal, you can kind of see how cold I am, right? I am cold right now. And this is the same principle we do on lighting, but just think of it, you would do it on your camera. It's kind of, for me, it's always just one of those fun things I like to think about back in the old days when we'd select film stocks, we would think about the grain pattern of the stock and if we would have to fly an 85 in order to correct for it. So let's go outside and take a look because it's the same sort of effect and that's with natural sunlight. Okay, so this is a pretty crappy rig, but I wanted to show it to you. So all I've done is I've taped this CTO to the front of the lens, right? And that's all we've got. So I'm filming with my camera. I'll come down here. I think I'll be in focus here. So that camera is set to daylight 3200. So it's set to 3200. That means outside everything is going to be blue. Right? That would, that's just what happens. That's the color spectrum you're playing in. So it has a much more of a blue feel to it. But we want to warm up the image. So again, back in the old film days, we drop an 85 in the front of it. Let's pull this off and show you what it looks like. Now, so there we go. Now you can see it's blue. It's a bluish color. I don't know where I am in the lens. I'm probably looking stupid. It's a bluish 
color to it. That's because we're still set for tungsten. So again, in the film side of things, you would put this 85 in front because you were too poor or you didn't have the money or art artistically you liked the stock that it gave you. You liked the grain pattern of a very specific tungsten film and you would fly this 85 in front if you were filming outside. It's just kind of a fun thing to think about maybe trying to shoot your camera that way one day. It's just treat it like a film stock. Don't jump ISOs. You know, lock it in, say, I'm going to shoot at 400 or 320 or whatever it is, and I'm going to treat it like film. So I'm going to say I only have tungsten stock. And just try something that way. It's fun. It's a challenge. It gets your brain going. It pays respect and homage, if you will, to the old ways of doing things. Everybody wants to shoot on film, but nobody knows how, unless you're from the old school. So this is one way you had to deal with it. I thought it was kind of fun. And that is where the whole idea of a natural 85 comes in. So when the, when the sun does this perfect thing and you get these beautiful greens and you get all the saturation, in fact, let's fix it. So then the natural 85 is when the sun hits the sky just perfect and just kind of casts a little bit of extra orange across it. And that's why I call it a natural 85. That's where my brain comes from. That's the logic. Again, it's the show. This is what I do. I don't even have a microphone because I'm, you know, you guys know better. I can do decent sound if I need to, but it's more about having fun and being in the moment. And that's what this is, being in the moment. I started thinking about an 85 this morning and I just wanted to share my story.